Hi there. Cockney Science again. Been a little while, but I've just been building all this lot. Just to show you. Before I start putting it all together. There's bits of tools over there. One cat. Someone liked the cat, I know. And gloob. We're gonna have a look to see with this stuff I constructed and built. If we can uh, see what gravity is. Right, here we go, machine nearly built. Right, let's explain a little bit, as it might be beyond a few people. Here we've got a luggage weight and I've converted it a little bit. It will look on these and we would do reverse thrust. Instead of weighing your luggage down to the gravity, we will see how much thrust weight upwards on the gravity and that would tell us what it is. As I said, we got 14.7 pounds per ball, according to gravity, plus half a pound, so we took 15 pound each side. We got these that are gonna go underneath. The rope, or the wire, or a little chain, will go through that, and that will sit under here in the middle. So I'll push it up on the central point, And then we've got an engineer's clock and some of my old tooling. And we should be able to rest that on the top here. So when we get the thrust bar going up, we can have the clock on the top <coughs> measuring how much it's moving at the early stages. And this gauge is one foul of an inch. So this imperial clock, because it was mostly imperial when I used to work in engineering, I still work in engineering but not in precision, more in fabrication. This is a fabricated jig, I'm sorry to say. If it would be more precise if I had some laves and mills, but I haven't at the present. Got that type of machinery. Yeah most of that's gone to China and the men's jobs have been lost through it but I've managed to survive in the engineering in industry and doing fabrication a lot of inventing and design all right let's see if I can get you a better picture Get it more into the middle of the table so you can see it all better. Right, 
she's all set now. Clocks are set at zero, that's the uh, luggage weight tester. It's now going to go upwards and it will read on the gauge. So the force going upwards will read the same poundage as if you was holding your case. Yeah, these are the balls, each side. Now you see I've got cigarette papers in the old days. We all used to smoke. There used to be a little trick in engineering. They have just bite. So it's all just in location. And now we have a clock just on the top. Set that at zero, that's touching. So when we start to go up, we should get a reading. We only need a few foul and then we remove it because it don't do uh, long distance. But it'll tell us when things start to move upwards. So So that must be one pound, two pound, three pound, four pound, five pound. So technically we put Pound, which is one of these balls so let's go and check the clock oh dear we've moved and we've moved before four felt yeah we've moved on half a pound it's moved on its single weight so there you go it's just over half a pound in weight that will be correct it started to move that's just proved that there's uh, no gravity well, I'm going to remove that clock we don't need that Does it get busted? By the amount we're going to go up. Now, we check the, this rod. And we go up the 15 pounds. Now technically, because we're lifting two weights, we can go up to 30 we're lifting 30 pounds but we'll do uh sorry got to keep this here straight i think i might need a cameraman whoops just holding this and trying to operate that is not going to be very good
we're at just over five, probably six pounds. Let's try this span, I see this better. Rods buckling. We're at ten pounds, and the rod's completely buckled, bearing that there's fourteen point seven pounds per square inch. These are about an inch bowls, so at ten pounds the rods are completely buckled. So we do the, the fifteen pounds. That's the ball. And you need nothing. As I said, you could go for thirty. It's 15 pounds, completely buckled the rod, completely proven, gravity is zero. So, that um, makes the old science community total liars, Einstein. And we're uh, leaving it at that. Mr. Britain here, till the man.